Hi everyone, welcome back to the next episode in our behind the scenes of the making of Saving Christmas, a game I quickly made and released at Christmas. And uh, this series is all about showing you how to make a game like I just released. Um, if you want to watch this whole series, you can do as a patron. Uh, otherwise, they're coming out every single day. Uh, you can watch them um, as they come out. So, if you want to play the game, you find a link in the description below. So, help yourself to download and play it. All these assets will be included as well, again, in a link in the description. So, in this episode, we're going to start working on our goblin. So, here I've already imported my goblin uh, mesh and animations, which you can find in the link below. And that's all I've done there. I've just organized them into folders. So, my goblin is pretty basic. Okay. And it's going to have some basic behavior as well onto him. So first of all, let's set up the actor for the goblin. So I'm going to right click, new blueprint class, and choose character. I'm going to call this one goblin, and open him up. On the mesh, I'm going to choose my goblin actor, and I want to position and size him to fit within the capsule. And I'll make him a bit shorter as well. There we go, happy with that. So what we're gonna start off today is just showing off the uh, animation blueprint. So to get him out of this T pose and into an idle walk and run animation. So I'm gonna close that and I'm going to my animations folder. And you can see the four animations that I included in the asset folder. So I'm gonna go add new animation and we're gonna do an animation blend space 1D. And you wanna choose your goblin skeleton. So I'm going to go goblin walk underscore bs for blend space. And I'm going to open this up. So the blend space is uh, similar to what we've done with the Santa. So you shouldn't have to go through it again. But what we need to do here is change the horizontal axis. So I'm going to change this to speed. And the maximum value is going to be 400. Then I'm going to drag an idle to the front on zero. I'm going to drag a walk onto 100, which is this line here, and add run to 400. And you can see the preview of the animation. And walk to run. Hit save and close that. Next, I'm going to go to add new animation and animation blueprint. I'm going to choose my goblin skeleton again and click OK. And this one's going to be called goblin underscore anim. Open this up. And on the animation graph, this graph here, we're going to drag our blend space out from the asset browser and drop it onto the graph. Plug that into the result, and the speed is going to be a variable which we're going to set over here. So go new variable and call it speed, and this will be a float. We're going to drag that now onto our blend space. So to get that speed value, we need to go to the event graph. And the event graph is going to get the pawn owner and get its movement component. And from there, we can work out how fast they're going. So first of all, we're going to use this try get pawn owner and look for is valid. And I'm using one with a question mark. If it is valid, that's when we continue on with the rest of the code. So try get pawn owner. We're going to come out of the return value there and get movement component. From there, we can get its velocity, which is its speed and direction. And then from there, we can get the vector length. Vector length. And the length of that vector is the speed. So drag your speed variable out and choose set and plug that in. Hit compile. We can now go back to our goblin actor and we're going to click on the mesh. If you go over to the right hand side details panel, you'll see animation and anim class as a drop down. By default, it should say none. Change that to your new goblin anim. And it should go into animation pose for the idle. If it doesn't, go back to your animation blueprint and double check everything's correct there. Hit compile, and we're pretty much done. And that's what we're going to do for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to go into setting up the AI and looking at how that works. 
Thanks very much for watching. If you want to watch that next part right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey, where simply just $1 will get access to that video and loads of other content too. Thank you for all your support for this year and can't wait to show you what's in store for next year. Thanks and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.